Let's look at an example for friction calculations. You're eager for winter, so you break out your horse sleigh before the snow comes. The horse has pulled the 36 kilogram sleigh at a constant velocity with you on it, and you weigh 68 kilograms. If the coefficient of kinetic friction between the sleigh and the grass is 0 0.48, what is the force of friction acting on the sleigh? What force are the horses applying in the opposite direction? So let's sketch what's going to be important from our free body diagram. We have you sitting on the sleigh with the force of the horses acting forward and the force of friction acting backward. Of course, as always, we have the force of gravity pulling down and the normal force, which is acting perpendicular to the surface of the Earth. Well, then let's continue our problem-solving method that we've always used and write down the information that we know. So we know the mass of our system is, well, we have a 36 kilogram sleigh, but we also have a 68 kilogram person. So that's a total of 104 kilograms for our entire system. The coefficient of kinetic friction we're given as 0 0.48. Recall, I said in one of the previous videos that coefficients of friction have no units, it's just a number and we're asked to figure out what is the force of friction acting on the sleigh and what force are the horses pulling in the opposite direction. Well let's start with tackling the force of friction using our force of friction formula. So we know the force of friction is equal to the coefficient of friction which in this case is kinetic times the normal force. So that would be 0 0.48 again no units times the normal force and the normal force we can split into how would we calculate the normal force and we always calculate the normal force as being equal but opposite to the force of gravity and we would calculate the force of gravity as being mass times the acceleration due to gravity and we're going to make sure that this is opposite in direction to gravity so in the positive direction then so to clarify this would be 0 0.48 as our coefficient of kinetic friction. The mass of the person in the sleigh is 104 kilograms and the force due to gravity is 9.81 meters per second squared. We know that this kilograms times meters per second squared, this is going to be a, a number in newtons and that is the correct unit for force. So that's our normal force. We're going to multiply that by our coefficient of kinetic friction. So let's just multiply these all together. We've got 0 0.48 times 104 times 9.81 should give us 489.7152. Now like I said these had units that combined to get us newtons. This has uh, this coefficient of kinetic friction has no units at all so our units here are still newtons and we have successfully calculated the force of friction acting as the horses drag this sleigh over the grass all that's left that we need to do yet is convert it to the correct number of significant digits which should be two so let's make this 4.9 times 10 squared newtons second part of the question asks what force are the horses applying in the opposite direction well to think about whether the force that the horses are applying is larger or smaller than the force of friction we have to ask ourselves is the sleigh accelerating and in which direction since we were told that this sleigh has a constant velocity we know that it's not accelerating at all if it's not accelerating, that means the net force acting on this sleigh is zero. Now, don't get this confused with the fact that it is moving because it's not accelerating. So, in other words, the force that the horses are applying has to exactly cancel out the force that friction is applying. So that lets us safely say that th this force of friction here is also equal to the force of the horses. So we can answer in a sentence by saying both the horses and friction are applying forces of 
4.9 times 10 squared newtons to the sleigh. And since we're not complete without a direction, I'm just going to say that these are in opposite direction. We were not given a certain direction to deal with, so we can just say that these two are acting in opposite directions. The other problems that you'll have to do related to this should be similar. Sometimes you'll get little tricks like you have to add together masses. You might have to work backwards with opposite operations to calculate different things.